The Charles Bender Performing Arts Center, seen behind me here, is a recent addition to the humble community. After years of dormancy, it has found new life as a place of entertainment, gatherings, and celebrations for the Humble community. However, it was once part of Humble ISD. It opened as a junior-senior high school in 1930 and served students in grades 5 through 11. Just so you know, Texas didn't add 12th grade until the 1940-41 school year. The building was recognized as an innovative design, partly because it had its own cafeteria, which most schools didn't have at the time. Back in 1930, most students went home for lunch and came back to school. The central feature of the building is the auditorium, which also doubled as the gymnasium. The classrooms are wrapped around the exterior. The band hall was added in 1955 and became the Humble ISD boardroom in 1974, when Bender High School was used as the district's administration building. Now, it has been transformed into the new Humble Museum, which will hold its grand opening on November 14th. The museum details the history of Humble since inception to now. Of course, Humble ISD is a big part of that history. While growth has taken Humble ISD north into Kingwood, east into Atascacita, and south along the Beltway, its roots lie in Humble. And while the growth has necessitated the building of new schools, Humble ISD remains committed to keeping older facilities up to newer standards. For instance, right here at Charles Street Stadium, where we're doing a major renovation to this historic facility right here in downtown Humble. Now this facility was actually built in 1942, and it hosted football games, track and field meets, and also high school graduations. Renovations to this historic facility is gonna include a new press box, brand new grandstands, and also a brand new field house. Another historic facility in Humble ISD is Lakeland Elementary. First opened in 1960, Lakeland is being relocated right next to Turner Athletic Complex. This new design focuses on a neighborhood concept, which includes pods. These pods facilitate and encourage learning and collaboration outside of the classroom. Since 1995, Quest High School has always shared a space with another campus. Now, its new location on Will Clayton Parkway, Quest Early College High School finally has a place to call its own. Previously, the Career and Technology Center, the new facility will be renovated and expanded to provide a college atmosphere for both students and teachers. Pretty appropriate for an early college high school, right? Another exciting renovation project is Humble High School. Built in 1965, it has had numerous modifications and additions throughout the years, but now we're taking it to the next level. Humble High School is being updated to a modern learning environment where technology, collaboration, and innovation are at the forefront of the education experience. We showed the designs to a student and his reaction was priceless. Oh, wow, the cafeteria. Oh, yo, yo. look at that. I'm going back to high school. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, that looks like That's the future. Right look at the... It has our name on it. I know. <laughs> Is like this by the far biggest. is like the most hype. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm so yeah. excited to see this in person. To me, it looks like a college campus. You gotta love it. They definitely outdid themselves this time. I'll tell you that much. It's nice seeing them like remember the old schools okay. and like being able to like, hey, like yeah, like we're, we're making all these new schools, but it's nice having them come back and like check up on their old schools and like yeah. renovate them. It's nice seeing that they actually still care. Mm -hmm, yeah. Exactly. The facility change and renovation is going to be huge for student culture. I'm most excited about our students seeing this building. Uh, after seeing Isaiah look at the photographs um, and the emotion that that brought to me, I, I look forward to seeing that look on every person's face when they walk into the building, uh, when they pass by the building. Uh, it's just going to build on the rich tradition of Humble High School and Humble ISD in an even greater way. We are dedicated to keeping the promises we made during the 2018 bond campaign by ensuring that all facilities, new, old, and in between, provide the very best experience possible for years to come.